So in this video, I'm going to share with you the new features Apple released for iOS 26. 0.2 or dot two so stick around so that you don't miss anything i'm about to share with you and these are the physical features i actually noticed or saw when i installed my ios 26.2 let's check this out the first change i noticed when i installed the ios 26.2 is the lock screen time right here or the clock right here so when you go to the lock screen customization and then you just tap on this section right here you can see that we now have glass and then solid so you can choose to pick any of them which you think it works for you and then when you choose the glass you can just adjust the transparency right here which is pretty much very okay for people because some people wanted to get access or a chance to adjust this in order for rates not to just conflict with the wallpaper they pick or the way they want to customize their lock screen so this is one of the nifty features i noticed or saw when i actually installed ios 26.2 so the next thing also is when you check the control center right here and then you try interchanging or try checking in between some settings right here you can see that the animation is different which is quite cool because apple announced it during the wwdc 25 that there are going to be animations but we just got it from this update which is one of the changes i also noticed another thing i also saw was within the podcast app so now with the podcast app longer podcasts you actually listen are going to be categorized into chapters for you to skip to the chapter you feel like one so in case you are listening to one which is very very lengthy the app is automatically going to just adjust it or make you just get it in chapters which is going to help you very well one of the changes i also noticed was with the apple music you can now get offline lyrics so in case you have a downloaded song you can just go to the downloaded song if your data is off your wi-fi is off and then you can just play the song and then also get the offline lyrics which is going to help some people in case you just want to know the lyrics of a song and at a particular time they're not connected to the internet you can just get this feature very very easily one of the changes too i saw was within the reminders app so with the reminders app you can now just get to put this one right here urgent so you see the setting right here we used to have date and time but we now have urgent which is going to allow the phone to get alarms or play an alarm when the time reaches for you to check or whatever reminder you have to check so that is also one thing people were always looking for because it's one of those things which will help you know that you have to attend to something in case you have a reminder set on your phone so that is one of the features i also saw when i updated this ios 26.2 so another thing we also noticed was within the enhanced security safety alerts so now when you are moving from places to places you are actually going to get improved alerts in case you are closer to an area where there is going to be an alert that needs to be delivered to you directly you are going to get it based on the location you are it's not going to be pushed to you randomly or straightforward in case maybe you are in new york it's not going to be pushed to you when you are just in new york new york like let's say you're in bronze but let's say you move to uh, middle island or let's say long island you're going to get alerts from long island areas but not the whole new york so that is what apple has actually announced to us and one of the cool things i also saw was within the games app when you go to the games app here you are going to see that you have the chance to sort um the games by size so you can see right here sort so in case you choose any of them by recent games names and then size if you pick the size you can choose to check it and then in case your phone needs storage you're going to be able to just look at it right here and then delete any of them you feel like you want which is one of the coolest features a lot of people are going to like one of the greatest features i also like in this new update is in the airdrop setting so now airdrop allows you to just share a code to your friends so that you're going to be able to keep them on your list for 30 days so you are going to see them right here and you can choose to manage any of them if in case you want to delete any of your friends whom you shared your code to you can just come to the set like i did right here and then you're just going to manage them right here and then just delete them from your pairings you have right here which is pretty much very cool so this is one of the coolest features i think a lot of people are really going to like so Apple just did very well over here too. One of the good things too that they added to this one too is within health and apps. So within health and apps, now the threshold of your sleep score is now being changed from excellent to very high. So in case you have a sleep score here, which I don't know why my phone hasn't recorded any of my sleep scores, you're gonna see it right here that it's gonna be changed to very high in case your sleep score is very, very great. So that is one of the changes I actually saw in this new update. So basically this is all I saw in the updates. And in case you also 
have seen any of them which you think is going to help people just leave down in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because most of you who watches my video haven't yet subscribed to my channel so do that for me and then also i'm going to catch you in the next video peace